Okay, without further ado, let's do the Ancient Jade Mask. Woo! Okay, then. Nice, bright, sunny area. Yeah, I think it's sunny. Looks kind of like late evening, actually. Or late afternoon. Use cheats after finish it many times. Are you talking about Tomb Raider 2? Specifically? Because, I mean, that's fair enough. Oh. I got my guns at least. I have my... Oh, God. It, this is going to make me sick. Uh, okay, that, that that's basically what the, the PS1 thing looked like. Except it, the, the texture actually looks different than the PS1 texture. I got my PS1 style... Uh, which I'm gonna call it's uh, my PS1 style health bar. And apparently, I have a, a longer field of view or whatever, or not field of view, but like the render distance is I I think improved. Hmm. That sounded like it was pretty close by. Yeah. Okay. So about the Tomb Raider two versus three thing, it really just depends on what you like. They're, they're just different types of good. I think that Tomb Raider 3 has the most well put together levels in a lot of ways. But it just depends on what you value in a level. Like, Tomb Raider 2's levels are very simplistic and some people could count that as a negative. For the most part. I mean, Opera House is pr kind of an exception to that rule. But, uh... There's a lot of combat focus in Tomb Raider 2, and, and there's a lot of that in Tomb Raider 3 as well, but Tomb Raider 3 just has such huge levels that are, like, all interconnected and complicated and stuff. And again, some people, some people's favorite levels are the London levels. I mean, imagine that. Imagine liking London more than, like, any of the levels in Tomb Raider 3. Huh. I tell ya. I mean, <laughs> they're definitely, like... No, no, I don't like the London levels. I can't even pretend to. But they at least are, like, interestingly built. I don't know how to. I don't know how else to explain it. But Tomb Raider three has interesting, has cool level design. It feels like the core design put a lot of effort into making each standalone level of Tomb Raider three an epic journey. You know. Whereas Tomb Raider 2, it's like there's so much of the level that you can skip because they didn't, like, make it properly. What? Hello? But for me, that's a good thing, because I, like, I found shortcuts even back in the day when I was playing the game for the first time. Like, I actually, I did the living quarters jump to skip over the stage part, and I didn't even know that the stage part of the level existed when I first played. Uh, uh, it, that's uh, Living Quarters in Tomb Raider 2. The part where you can jump over the, the, the place you're supposed to fill with water. When I first played that, I literally didn't even know that the stage part existed, and I thought you were just supposed to do that jump. And it kind of... It taught me to be a filthy glitcher or whatever. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I agree with the crawling. It's, for me, it was crawling and monkey bars. Monkey bars are... Ugh. The camera angle's awful. You can't see what's below you. It's so fucking slow. I don't mind sprinting too much. It's very clunky, I for sure. Doesn't handle very well. Whereas in Tomb Raider 2, you know, you just jump around. You always basically have complete control. Tomb Raider 2 has its own tedium in the form of long-ass ladders. But they're kind of a meme at this point, like the diving area ladder. What would Tomb Raider 2 be without the diving area ladder? A little. Let me ask you that. <laughs> Why no fab cam? I haven't had a face cam for like two whole years now. Okay, maybe not that long, but it's been a long time. First of all, at one point the face cam stopped working. But for the most part, I just didn't want to film myself fapping anymore, I guess. I don't know. Just didn't seem right. Let's see here. I do plan to bring it back someday. But even if I bring it back, it won't be for like 100% of the streams. Okay, don't have a show. Shit. 
dog. This guy's got an interesting face. What is it with his face, actually? He almost looks like... Okay, I guess I can look at him after he's dead. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to look at his face because it looked different than... The usual two Mario 2 enemies. Yeah, you can definitely glitch on accident sometimes. Although I can't say I found too many glitches by accident when I was playing. I mostly, what I was referring to was finding glitchless skips on accident. Which especially happens in Tomb Raider 2 more so than Tomb Raider 3 and 4. I didn't really find a lot of glitches by accident. Like, the occasionally you, you do something where you, you end up just running into a wall. Like, like, you can actually run into a corner bug of these games. Like that. You see that shit? I can imagine people doing that by accident. I just never experienced it too much when I was playing as a little kid. Okay, let's see here. Uh, wait, what did I even do? I got some, like, ammo, and then I did some stuff and things. Right, right. Let's see here. Wait, wait, this is where I came from. Damn it. Wait, isn't it? It, it must be. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, this is the very start of the level. Jeez. See, did I go? I don't, I don't remember which way I went. Okay, I went in here. I jumped up here. I must have. Maybe I did something and I just forgot it. I forgot what had happened. Oh, right. I had to climb all the way up through this crap. Oh, yeah. Tour Bear 2 has by far the best secret system the thing that people might disagree with you on when they say like oh i don't like the secrets as much as Tomb Raider 2 is that Tomb Raider 2 secrets are too easy to find compared to the other games like they actually do a pretty good job of hiding the secrets in Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider 1 but in Tomb Raider 2 some of them are arguably too obvious but I completely agree that it's the best secret system because they actually fucking give you a reward for getting the secrets instead of being like Tomb Raider 3 where it's like you acquired some shotgun shells and a large medipack, pack, which you have 10 of. Wait, so what did I do here? I'm trying to figure out... Okay, I pulled this lever. What did this lever do? Okay, okay, okay. I, I figured it out. I wasn't paying attention when I actually pulled the lever, so now let's let's go back and go to that place that I opened. It always turned looking through windows, seeing a dragon in the distance. I want to get there. That's true too. I kind of agree with that sentiment. Um, you can do that without making them super obvious, though. It's just that, yeah, in general, compared to Tomb Raider 2 and 3, the secrets are slightly less secret. I don't think that's the end of the world. I think that's basically fine. It's just, you know, when you think of secrets in a game, you want them to be... I mean, some of them are secret enough, but it's just... Only one or two of them and get nothing for it. Yeah, but I mean that's 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 how it's tough titties. 
but I agree. I I liked it, all it is is it's a slightly streamlined okay. secret system, and some people just prefer the the more unforgiving ones, I guess. There's also the fact that she says, uh-huh, every single time she picks something up. Which, honestly, it's funny. When I was a little kid, that actually drove me crazy. I actually hated that aspect of Tomb Raider 2. I still liked Tomb Raider 2 the most out of the games, but I didn't have any love for <laughs> Lara saying, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Obviously, later I learned to understand that it was the best part of the game, but... Oh, shit. These guys have hilarious faces. Okay, that guy looks like Larson. Yeah, that is totally Larson's face. From Tomb Raider 1. Good old cowboy, man. Okay, do I still only have... Yeah. Some of the later ones seem easier. The Jade and Bartoli's hideout. Let's see, which one's that? There's the stone dragon in Bartoli's hideout, which is kind of... No, no, no. The jade one in Bartoli's hideout is the one that you find by climbing into the building that you blow up before blowing it up. So, yeah. Ain't nothing personal. Oh, yeah, no, wait. That's the cowboy man. That's actually not Larson. Larson is the guy who's at, the, like, the beginning of the game and who fights you in Peru and, and Egypt. And he's the one who features in Tomb Raider 5. Annoyingly. What's going on, Touch Sky and Charger Binksy? Char Char Charger Binksy. Okay, I have a key, a rusty key. Where do I use this again? Don't remember where I might have seen it. Oh, maybe over here. Here we go. Oh yeah, Char Char Binksy was already here. Sorry about that. Uh, I, <laughs> I was... Oh shoot. Okay, hello. What? Okay, this is starting to remind me of the, the previous level now. Jumping over spikes in a hallway. Oh, shit. That's what you get for being impatient. Aw, oh, man. I don't have to wade through all that shit again. By the way, don't die inside the table. Because if you die inside the table, I won't be able to get the key, and I won't be able to progress. I'll oh, screw you. Oh, I gotta push the block. Haven't I? <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. I'm pretty sure I can... I can't climb through there. Okay, whatever. Oh, because the ceiling is actually low there. There's a fish statue. All I have is regular pistols. I feel like there's gonna be guys. It'd be funny if you could just drive a boat around in the fountain. Oh, I need to get this, uh, trap door. Oh, hi there. Oh, a boat. Here we go. Now we're talking, although looks like I'm gonna have to open stuff first. Jeez, this is a big area. Now, this is a place where I could potentially do a corner bug. Although, I'm not sure if there's even anything up there. Oh, there probably is, because you can jump to these different places. Yeah, definitely some corner bug potential around here. I'm not going to do it. Oh. Oh, more spikes. If I have one criticism of these levels, it's that they maybe overuse spikes just a tiny bit. Oh. have a new game new levels see a glitch well that's quite often in i mean in the tomb raider 4 levels it's much more prevalent because in tomb raider 4 you can just use a flare to glitch up any flat wall you don't even need a corner for tomb raider 4 so that makes it ooh, that's tight it makes it uh even more tempting to use glitches in tomb raider 4 because there's so many more situations where you can do it than in the first three games ironically Waste pollution in Venice's streets. What do you mean with the with all the shards of glass? Wait, so now I'm just gonna go here. Oh my gosh! Well, I can see those guys are gonna shoot the crap out of me. So now this is much deeper water than Venice originally had. This place is fucking huge. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Are you serious? Hacks! I call hacks! I was really looking forward to speeding through that canal, too. I'm not allowed to. Oh! It's okay, though, because I have a shotgun now. And flares. More importantly, flares. Correction denied. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Huh. 
I suppose I can't even swim there either. Because there's just a giant wall. Ugh, disgusting. I mean, it is pretty at least, but how could you give me all this wide open space to run around in and take it all away? Wait a second. Okay, I assume that that wall is also like there's actually a wall above the water and below the water. But even so, I want to do this. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a wall. The wall. The wall. Nothing on earth can make you fall. Okay. I don't think there's any glitches we could do for that wall. Except maybe like co-op glitch or whatever. But there's no like corners or anything to use. Maybe you could do it with a void glitch. Void glitches are all the rage now. There's apparently a way to skip the entirety of Temple of, of Xion. Even the, the small part of it that you do as a speedrunner, you can skip that by entering the void. Or the Twilight Zone, as it were. A dimension not only of sound and sight, but also of mind. Oh, shit. Yep, any percent is starting to go far. Oh, too far. I, I, I misread that. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's becoming more and more like Tomb Raider 4, I guess. But it's still not that bad. If it was like Tomb Raider 4, you would just or Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, you would just use the void glitch for every single level. And that's how you would speedrun the game. <laughs> but it definitely has a lot more glitches than it used to. And some of them are actually pretty sweet. In fact, if anything, I would say the run has improved in terms of how fun it is to watch. It's actually really fun to watch the, the, the co-op glitch and stuff happening. Wait a minute, is there another way to go here? Wait. What? 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 Okay, there's an air pocket. I'll get the ammo in a sec. Oh yeah? You should stream it. Tomb Raider 1's pretty popular these days, too. You have to preserve its innocence. You know, I, I hear you there. Tomb Raider 2 has kind of been slightly ruined for me. I mean, I wouldn't say ruined, ruined, but it definitely, I can't, like, play it a certain way anymore. After, Especially after doing all that no loads, no meds. Oh, there's a freaking... Tr Ow, okay. Good job not grabbing the ladder. Speedrun strats. Certain corners you cannot unsee anymore. For me, it's just like the fact that I know where every enemy is. There's no longer a sense of, oh shit, I need to use the shotgun, yeah, whatever.
I was trying to say some words, but I gotta fight. Okay. Well, you can tell he got some criticisms for not having enough health packs in his first level because he's sticking them everywhere in this one. Although there is considerably more combat in this level, I guess, as well. Maybe. I can hover up there. Oh, geez. You know, I've never even played the Zelda games. Uh -huh. The Zelda version. <sighs> There's a lot of really famous game series I haven't played yet, though. Like Resident Evil. Grand Theft Auto. I, I don't know. Oh, I need a, another rusty key. Maybe I can find it on top of these boxes. However I get up there. I'm gonna light a flare just so I can pinpoint any pushable boxes there might be. So many places to go, and so many potential corner glitches to do. You can't reach this, right? I'm pretty sure it has to be six clicks high. Yeah, that's seven. Hmm. Look, there's got to be something in this room. It just seems like... I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to enter from another area. Or maybe I'm actually supposed to go up there after I open the door with the key. But then it appears in your stream as well. Hmm. Well, if you hang out a lot on Discord, at least you're being social. Unlike some people, <laughs> me. Um, well, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, I just said that. Was this already open? I think I came from here. Yeah. Where... So I haven't opened that yet. Haven't opened that yet. Anything in the fountain? Hmm. Well, I get you. I know the feeling of being lonely streaming. It's like me when I stream Overwatch. <laughs> Got him. Oh, speaking of Overwatch, what's going on, Spooter? I know you, like, don't play Overwatch anymore, but did you know that they hugely buffed Reaper? He has 50% lifesteal now. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. God, there's got to be something. I just, like, did all this crap to open this door. I killed a bunch of guys. But how do I climb to the upper level? Yeah, it was 30% before. Now it's 50%. It's pretty good. <laughs> also, they nerfed the shit out of Brigida. She, uh, her, her ultimate no longer lasts forever. Which, honestly, is fine with me. It's just... They kind of balanced the whole character around having that ridiculous ultimate, so I don't know. What's up, Touch Sky? Whoa, I'm just like moonwalking. 
floating across there. Was there something you wanted to ask? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I just... Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I can just jump to here. That took long enough. I'm barely even high anymore. I'm starting to sober up. Okay, scratch that. I'm still high. <laughs> but I'm less high than I was. It's been a whole hour and... 34 minutes. Well, I was... I, I smoked a joint at the start of the stream. But I've been coming down ever since. It's been a whole hour and 34 minutes. Time for some more Devil's Lettuce. I wouldn't say no to that. I'm pretty addicted to that shit, to be honest. That's why I don't drink much alcohol. I'm all about the weed. And it's legal in my state, so it's, it's, it's chill. Oh, god damn you. I wouldn't recommend it 100% of the... Oh, shit. This is what I get for trying to cheat. Wait, what? Oh, okay. This is... Jeez, when did I save? Are you serious? How did I not save there? I can't even tell where the saves are. Amazing. I have to do all this shit over again. Again, I wouldn't recommend it 100% of the time, but I definitely enjoy 420 streams sometimes. Usually when I do 420 streams, I actually tend to play something other than Tomb Raider, because... Unless I'm just, like, dicking around in Tomb Raider 2 and listening to 80s music. I used to do a lot of 420 streams like that in the past when I was, like, practicing speedruns. I might go back to that a little bit if I speedrun Tomb Raider 2 again. Um, but, but but I digress. Usually I, I when I smoke, I'm playing certain specific games like Fistful of Frags and stuff like that. That's really fucking far away. Like dogs just running into a wall. Good job. Because no one will ever beat Crit. That's probably true. But there's a lot of... Oh, she's missing like all of her shots there. Can you see all the bullets hitting the ceiling? That was ridiculous. Okay, now let's open the door again. Are you in Tomb Raider 1 today? Uh, no. I haven't even, like, played Tomb Raider 1. I am starting to try to learn the UK box strats for Tomb Raider 2, but I'm not, de I'm definitely not playing speedrunning Tomb Raider 1 just yet. I probably will go back to it at some point, but only when I'm ready. Hey, Daneth. What's up, man? We went through your uh, Mystic Realm level already today. Now we're plugging away at this one. I just, like, lost all my progress because I, I uh, fell down from here. And then I, I hadn't saved, like, forever. What's the new Tomb Raider 2 strat? Oh, where do I even start, dude? There's, like, a bunch of new glitches. Uh, I can actually show you at the end of this stream. I was thinking of speedrunning like the first couple levels of Tomb Raider 2 just to show people what I've learned so far. It was going to be su a surprise, but, you know, whatever. It's not like I was going to do a full speedrun. It's just what I've learned so far, which is up to offshore rig. Uh, okay, that guy didn't drop anything. I forgot to get the health pack. I'll get it later. Did you like Mystic? Yeah, it was it was a little short, and I didn't find the third secret. I was really upset. I, I found the first two secrets. Um, I thought that the water wall at the end of the level was pretty sweet, but I was slightly disappointed that that was the end. Because I was like, oh shit, a water wall. I've never seen that in Tomb Raider 2. I don't know, I thought I was going to get to like swim up the water wall or something. Also, I was high when I was playing Mystic Realm. I'm a little more sober now. I won't say I'm completely sober, but 
I was I was I was pretty wasted when I was playing Mystic Realm. It was a Mystic Realm. It's meant as a teleport effect. Yeah, I guess it looks a little bit like the Stargate. Uh -huh. We got our key. I'll just check for more boxes, I guess. You always gotta check every single box. Shit. Okay, well that was unnecessary health loss, but you know, what can you do? It's not like I'm gonna run out of health packs. I can tell that you got some criticism for for not having enough health packs, because you stuck them all over this level. Although, there are quite a bit of enemies in this level. Okay, uh, let's see here. What am I doing? I'm using the key. That's right. Key things. No. Oh, really? I need a rusty key. This one is the central plaza key. Well, at least it's nice and descriptive. Also, you're a dick, Daneth, for putting this stupid wall there. That pissed me off when I found out. I was like, yay, I'm free. I can fly away. I want to get away. I want to fly. And then it was just a wall crushing all my dreams. It's your fault. <laughs> okay. It does look pretty, though, I guess, the environment that you can't go to. Oh, yeah, I guess I got to go wait. Where was the keyhole here? Oh, right there. Oh, what? I need another one? No. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where, if I was another key, where would I be? Don't answer that, Daneth. I'm just, I'm just getting started here. Um. Okay, so I still haven't figured out this uh, trap door. I've already been down here. Wait, so maybe I can get to where that guy is? Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, I still haven't gotten up there either. I wonder. Am I supposed to try to, like, go through the window or whatever? Hmm. Maybe there's, like... It doesn't look like I can get there from up there. So then where do I get there from? I mean, you know, besides the obvious method. Oh, okay. So there's something there. You can actually see, like, a little gap there. A place where you're supposed to climb down. But I'm guessing I'm supposed to come from over here. Maybe there's something else under the water that I missed. Like, for example, that little passageway there. Yeah, I saw the window. I just wasn't sure how to get to it. I did not see this place before. Oh. Damn it. And it looks like I can't swim under it. However, maybe there's another lever oh or one of those things there's one of those down there watch this be a secret I mean at least this is a pretty secretive secret I'll, I'll give you that one all right no hints just yet um I'll figure something out I mean, I'll ask like a yes or maybe I'll ask a yes or no question. Does it is the way to get to that window in the underground underwater maze? Because that wouldn't be terribly surprising if, you know, an underwater maze caused me to miss something. 
Oh, okay then. Welp. Wait, is that? Oh, that's where the shotgun ammo was. Okay, okay, let's get out of here. <sighs> oh, wait, no. Underwater mazes. I never cared for them. Although, at least it's not as bad as the underwater maze in Tomb Raider 4. That was like a proper three-dimensional maze. It was fucked. Hmm. This is the first level. Oh, right, right, right. But, but, so wait, how many levels are in the demo? Is it just the one? Hmm. I guess I can see what it is from that area. Okay, no, that's fine. You're working on it. The Ancient Jade Mask level set. Alright, I'm just gonna jump through here again so I can try to see what's happening. Get a slightly better viewpoint. Ooh, nice. You're plugging away then. All right, I just want to see. Oh, it's just a lever, of course. Okay, I don't know. I'll, I'll try check in the boat area again. Maybe there's something I missed on that one dock. The place with the dead guy. Something above you in the window? Oh, well, whatever it is. It's way back there now. Alright, so this is where I found the shotgun. I didn't find much else here. However. Oh, there's a box. Here we go. Now we're cooking. There's probably a lever behind this. Or something. What do you know? People complain about the boxes, really? I mean, what did they, what, what were they saying that was specific? Why did I swim all the way over here? The boat's over there, geez. Like what specifically did they take issue with? Like, there are a lot of boxes in that one room that look like they would be pushable. So they're like well hidden, but I don't really see that being a big downside. They complain when stuff's not well hidden enough, and they complain when stuff's too well hidden. It's hard to notice if one is movable, but like, that's that's a good thing, in my opinion. It makes it so that the boxes don't look like they stick out like a piece of shit. Like every other type of... <laughs> okay, sorry uh, for putting it that way, but... But like... I like the fact that boxes blend in with stuff in the old engines. The fact that they don't always kind of lightly annoys me. And it's not like I feel like it affects the gameplay that much to not be able to see a block. That's why you have flares. I mean, it would be annoying if, like, every level had the, the box texture and it was just like overused box textures so you have to check every little square where oh, is this a box is this a box is this a box i can get how that could be annoying but it doesn't seem like that's the case here all the reviews being much elitist 
yikes. Well, I kind of agree, but they at least have some logic to some of their reasoning. It's just that, I don't know. I feel like I, I can't quite get behind reviewers who, who give HyperSquare, like, highest possible score in every possible area. No flaws with HyperSquare. It's as perfect as a level can be. I mean, I'll, I'll admit it had a shitload of effort put into it. It kind of seems like they grade things based on, like, how aesthetic they are and just the sheer amount of work that the builder had to do to make all the shit, like, all the custom stuff and whatever. They also grade them a lot on, like, how many new things they introduce. Like, they're like, oh, well, this is an okay level, but I've seen it before, so downgraded. I'm not going to say that they're just elitists, but they have kind of subjective uh, grading systems that don't seem to favor levels made in the Tomb Raider 2 and 3 engine most of the time. How fun is this to play? I mean, sure, but that's totally subjective as well. Everyone the rights feedback automatically reviewer. Uh, I don't know how the process works. I think you have to like sign up for the site or whatever, but you do actually rate the level and your the how you rate it affects its overall rating and then you can sort levels based on their rating and yada yada. I don't think you have to go through too much to to become one though. Oh hi there, you just ran right past me like a dumbass. Because you're a Tomb Raider 2 enemy. Get the fuck out of here. See, a Tomb Raider 4 enemy would have been on that. It would have just been shooting me. <laughs> That's the one thing I can say about Tomb Raider 4 enemies. Again, I find it more fun to play where you can actually out kind of outmaneuver the enemies and you can run around them. Tomb Raider 4 is just like they turn on a dime and it shoot you. Also, sorry I didn't properly say hi. Hi, Decam. My finest mod. Oh, okay. That's that's a thing. Uh, I like that about Tomb Raider 2, but I will admit it's a flaw. Like, it's an AI problem when you come down to it. It's just that without that AI problem, there's not really a lot going on with the combat, you know? You just stand there and shoot and use health packs, you know? So it adds it adds some actual gameplay where there otherwise wouldn't have been much, I guess. And yeah, they literally slide rather than turn. That's also true. It actually doesn't apply to all Tomb Raider 4 enemies. It's just the ones that are like the ninjas or whatever. The guys who use Uzis. The, the soldiers that you fight in Cairo actually don't have that. Wait, I can't even reach this, can I? What am I doing? Um, do I have to push it out here? That would be weird. Gotta push it somewhere. Wait, is this also pushable? Of course it is. Quite right, quite right. Must be your only mod in win by default. Oh, there's others. Like Spooter. Get wrecked, Spooter. I mean, Spoder. Let's see here. Uh, oh, that, that, well, I guess that's that. I guess I'll just climb the stinking thing. <laughs> I get what you're saying, snarky lesbian. Um, fucking... I always thought that the Uzis in Tomb Raider 3 sounded like erectile dysfunction. Okay, that's the, maybe that's not the exact term I would have used for it when I was like 6, but I never, I didn't like those words, Uzi sounds as much as the Tomb Raider 2 ones. The Tomb Raider 1 ones sound like they're on crack, like they don't sound, the, the, the loop is like broken, especially the, the PC version. Movable boxes. Yeah, I agree. They're, they they shouldn't be an issue. Like, the only thing you would want to avoid is just, like, overusing the box texture. Like, having giant rooms full of boxes. But that's not really the case here. I don't think that... Like, and also you want to avoid having, like, really long, unnecessarily long box puzzles. Don't die inside the table or I can't pick up your shit. 
Okay. You gotta be careful with those tables and the enemies. Uh -huh. <sighs> the Snarky Uzian. Oh, yeah. You know, speaking of the chain gun sound, I, you must really like the snowmobile with the Uzis attached to it. Because you can just fire it off forever. You never run out of it. You never run out of ammo. I actually used to do that when I was little. You mean eight minute box pushing puzzles is a bad thing? <laughs> yeah. Lower light on the boxes so they're a bit more noticeable. I mean, if you make the light less flat in general, I guess, the boxes will be more visible sometimes. Or at least, maybe, like, yeah, like you're saying, if you, if, you, if you make the light a little darker, that'll encourage people to pop a flare, and then they'll be more likely to notice the box. But I don't really think it should be something that people rate you down for. Like, just having boxes that are hard to see. Like, if they're going to rate you down for having slightly flat lighting in certain areas, that's one thing. But, like, come on. You can see the boxes. It's it's like a segmented texture. Also, shit, what, was that the trap door that's, like, really far away? Oh, yeah, I do like the Tomb Raider 1 Magnum sounds more than the automatic pistol sounds. I'll give you that one. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Jesus. I've seen people, I, I've never fired a gun, but I've seen people fire Uzis in real life, and it seems pretty hard to go full automatic with those bastards. Like, my god. With two Uzis at once? You don't even see that shit in action movies very often. Um, Because people in action movies are, are pussies compared to Lara Croft. Okay, let's see, where where was that again? There was a, a place with the with the thingy oh these are new building textures i didn't quite realize they look pretty sweet i guess oh, okay so if i just go back through here maybe this doesn't seem right i'm pretty sure i went back too far yeah they do it in the matrix there's obviously plenty of action movies that do that kind of thing it's just usually they don't fire it for such long uninterrupted periods of time the way the way Lara does. Okay, here we go. I found it. Found you. Oh boy. <sighs> Health pack, okay. That that's a health pack. Uh -huh. So where's the other thing? Uh. Oh, right. I gotta shoot the bell. Hey, I could have shot in that with the, the shotgun. And also, I just said shotten. <laughs> that's right. You heard it here first, folks. I could have shot in that with the shotgun. <laughs> All right, we got it. I like the little camera you did there too. Okay, okay, I, I just wanna try this now. I wanna see if I can skip the level by shooting that shit with the shotgun. Hmm. It's hard to see if this is actually working. Oh, uh, maybe this doesn't work in... T I could have swore this worked in all the games. Maybe this is just a Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 4 thing. 
Okay, I guess that doesn't work in Tomb Raider 2. No, Danith, I think it's only possible in Tomb Raider 4 and maybe Tomb Raider 3. It's definitely a thing in Tomb Raider 4, though. So I got things mixed up. I don't think it's a thing in this in this game engine. I have definitely used it to skip some Tomb Raider 4 shit, because Tomb Raider 4 levels like to give you the laser sight so that you can shoot stuff. You don't always need it if you have a shotgun. Oh dear. The hedge maze. Oh man, there's so many corner bugs just waiting to happen. Look at all these corner bugs. Eh? <laughs> the dog was just like, oh fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm not I'm not dealing with the shotgun. Hmm. He's going to unglitch at some point, so I guess I'll have to put him down. Yeah, you might want to work on that dog uh, AI. Like, put him in a place where he doesn't just freak out and leave. Maybe that doesn't happen every time, but... Ah, is that kind of shit unavoidable? Do, does the AI just, like, glitch the fuck out? Because most of the enemies work fine, but I would think it has something to do with, like, the layout or whatever. Pretty sweet horse statue. That's the thing from Lara's home. Putting an invisible floor on the hedges. Ha! Huh. Oh shit! Oh fuck! He's avenging his his brethren. He's like my brother may have glitched, but I will not. Ah, so it's specifically the one from Tomb Raider 3. Interesting. Oh, I thought there was shotgun ammo. Oh, boy. Guys, I, I this, was, this box was way too hard to see. I don't know. You should probably make it pink and, and fluorescent. So I guess I got to push the box over to the patch of crap on the ground. It looks like birds pooped there. Okay, not sure where that is. Ah, this is reminiscent of Tomb Raider 2, the hedge maze, where you have the trap door in the middle of the maze. Kind of. A hidden pressure plate. Okay, I guess. Alright, so now we finally have this, the other central plaza key. We could do the stuff with the things. Oops! Damn it! Jeez, this this level really doesn't want to let me do glitches, huh? <laughs> oh shit! I just wanted to climb the ladder a little faster. Okay, leave me alone. I think it must have been because the the little bush was there, and the bush caused me to... <laughs> was that a mistake I made? Uh, no. I, I was just trying to do a filthy glitch to get up the ladder faster, and... The last time I tried to do a glitch in this level, that happened too. I actually went into the void while trying to do a simple corner bug. I'm not sure how you did it, but you managed to design certain areas to be 
corner bug proof. Send you to the heavens. Indeed. Uh -huh. Hey there, Michaela. Or Michaela. Mich Michelle. I'm sorry, I can't do names. So, Mike, it's just, uh, Michaela? Or, wait, what was the first thing I said? I don't, I already forget. I'm too, I'm too tired. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, well, did I go this way? I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Is there anything else in here? I haven't found any secrets in this level. Oh wait, yes I have. I found that one thingy underwater. Oh, okay. Michaela. That makes sense. Okay. Or Yes, I like this. Repeating things too much. A low amount of things you can do. Ah, no, I think there's a lot of possibilities. There's always tons of possibilities with, like, the types of jumps you can make people do. I think about these things in my spare time. It's kind of weird, but, like, th th there, there's lots of things that I haven't personally seen tried in a level. I'm sure someone out there has made a Tomb Raider 4 level with, like, most of what I'm thinking of. But I've always wanted to put, like speed run like jumps oh there's a detonator i guess i gotta blow this shit up i've always wanted to put certain types of of, of jumping sequences and stuff in levels but i'm always too lazy to finish them i want to try to make another dxtre level though one of these days especially since i'm playing all these good dxtre thingies dxtre doesn't really roll off the tongue the way TRLE does but to be honest neither of them are very comfortable to say oh this guy's just jumping Ugh. you know what else is a pretty sexual sounding gun in my opinion is the shotgun I always loved the Tomb Raider 2 shotgun more so than the other shotguns I mean obviously the, the people who made Tomb Raider 2 also loved it because of the home sweet home level it's like the shotgun is the star of the show. I guess it hurts your ears a little bit, but it's supposed to, damn it. It really sounds powerful. I remember being mind blown the first time I played a, a, a Tomb Raider custom level that had the Tomb Raider 2 gun sounds in it. The first time that happened for me was actually Back to the Basics 2008, which was Peru. It was basically like the levels looked like Tomb Raider Anniversary style Peru. It was in the Tomb Raider 4 engine. Oh, hey, foodie. What's going on, man? I was just checking out your Tomb Raider 3 No Loads No Meds stuff since Badass Games was trying to get the RX Tech Mines swim down uh -huh. earlier today. How you doing, man? Wait, what did I just do? I opened a thing somewhere. What if there is a hidden thing? Oh man, you could totally... Another cool thing about the Tomb Raider 2 engine is that you can hide fucking pickups in places that you can't with the Tomb Raider 4 engine. You know? Like, you can put them somewhere other than the very center of a square. Okay, I don't have the detonator key yet. What did I even do? I, I totally missed it. I did something. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Desert Eagle is a pretty good sound too. I agree with that. Okay, what the, I, I opened something with this button. I forgot what it was. Eh? That must be close by. That's true, the snarky lesbian, but the problem I always had with the Desert Eagle, or well, rather, the revolver in Tomb Raider 4, is there's actually a glitch with... Okay, I know this doesn't involve Tomb Raider 3. In Tomb Raider 3, it works fine. But in Tomb Raider 4, which is the engine the vast majority of TRLEs use, um, there's a stupid gl thing where when you have the revolver equipped, it always empties the other holster. You're always it always just shows the revolver in your holster and then no guns in the other holster which always drove me fucking crazy cuz it would just make the gun you whatever gun you were holding disappear and Tomb Raider 3 didn't have that problem you could just have the like an Uzi in one side and the Desert Eagle on the other side which I always thought looked pretty sexy but um anyway I I keep you, you got me using these terms now. <laughs> I'm going to blame you for this. <laughs> but, but anyway, where the fuck was that door? It, it opened something and it was like, oh, God, I'm so dumb for not paying attention to where that door was. But it seemed like it was really close by. So, like, I didn't didn't think much of it. Where was that door? Was it in here? Oh, wait, no, it was not this one. Oh, it was this one. Okay, I didn't even see that there was a door here. Let's let's do this. Well, I get banned for saying that you dislike Tomb Raider 4. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, out of the main four games... Th honestly, when usually when people ask me which games I like and dislike the most, it's hard for me to answer because I think they all have pros and cons. I definitely would say Tomb Raider 2 is my favorite oh, on the whole. <laughs> Uh, but I have kind of a soft spot for Tomb Raider 4 because of certain aspects of my past. It was actually the first full Tomb Raider game I ever played. So there's that. And I also just adore the soundtrack of Tomb Raider 4. And I really like the look of some of its levels. But as far as engines go, like the game engines and the little idiosyncrasies they have, Tomb Raider 4 is not one of my favorite engines. It does have some good things about it, though. Like the fact that she picks up items so quickly. Did I hear you going to do Tomb Raider 3? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I was saying that since Badass Games is doing Tomb Raider 3 No Loads, No Meds, he was practicing earlier today, and he was trying to learn the RX Tech Mine Swim, and I wanted to check out your run so that I could see like what strat you used for it. But it doesn't seem like there's really any trick to it other than don't screw up under pressure <laughs> i got super lucky for not dying to it okay what the fuck uh so many keys in this level warehouse key uh geez where was that um well it's obviously not going to go into the detonator some of the levels are too tomb based Oh, I mean, yeah, there's certainly Tomb Raider 2 and 3 are, are, are very vibrant. Whereas Tomb Raider 4 has this deep underground feel to the levels, which I actually really like. I just, I, I don't know, I like it in a different way than Tomb Raider 2 and 3. I can see how it's it's not the same. Oh, well, thank you for the follow, Danith. Um... Is is it popping up? Why is has my thing not been working this whole time? Let's see here. The the the, the those Twitch alerts. I mean, yeah. Oh shit! There was a dude. I did not even. I snarky lesbian donated five dollars. I apologize for not having a, an alert set up for that. I usually would. But this time I haven't had it set up. Thank you so much for that. I know that was like an hour ago. Jeez. But, uh, fucking appreciate it. You the best. Um, check the key name. 
Yeah, I, I just did, but I don't know where the hell the warehouse is. There's like, a, everything's a warehouse. I live in a warehouse. Okay, uh, maybe I don't, but... <sighs> Was it way back at the start of the level? Because I don't even remember. Huh. <laughs> okay, well. Hope you have... I hope you have many an adventure with your Tomb Raider level. There really is a, are a lot of good levels to play. Even the ones in the Tomb Raider 4 engine. I, I, I definitely recommend checking out some of the better ones because they can get really good. Um, but there's also all these sweet Tomb Raider 2 and 3 levels, which, again, there didn't used to be that many good Tomb Raider 2 levels, honestly. Used to be, like, a very rare commodity to even see a level that was, like, looked any even close to this good in these engines. For, like, the better part of two decades, there just weren't that many options. There were some, of course. A guy called The Vagrant made a lot of kind of famous Tomb Raider 2 levels. Okay, you know what, Dan? It's just, just tell me the general direction of where it is, because this is a giant-ass level. There was some warehouse I should, I'm supposed to remember, but I don't remember it. I don't feel like wandering around for too long. Is it a place I've already been? I'm assuming. You're not telling me it's this, right? What? Okay, no. It's not that. The dock area? Oh, that is, like, far away. Okay, let's see here. So it was somewhere else I had been before, just not the place that I was that I was trying. It was over this way, right? I think. warehouse key oh yeah I forgot that I hadn't opened this one yet thanks for reminding me also got complaints about backtracking there's truckloads of it well I agree but I, I won't completely say that the complaints aren't valid for in that regard oh god Good thing I got plenty of health packs. Although, it's not really much of a backtracking issue for me so much as just having a big, big-ass area to run around in. I do kind of wish I could sprint when I have that much distance to cover. But really, it's it's not, like, egregious backtracking. There are a, an awful lot of keys, though, I will say. I'm not a huge fan of just being like, oh, this is a key, but now I gotta figure out which key goes in the right hole, and then, oh, there's the keyhole there, and again, that's pretty nitpicky of me. Definitely nitpicky of the people on the TRLE. Like, come on. I would give this level, if I was rating it out of 10, I would definitely give this level 9 out of 10. At least. I would not rate it all the way down at, like, 7 or whatever it is. Low 8. But what really kills me about... Like, I can deal with some of their nitpicky criticisms and stuff. But... Like... I mean, for me, there's a... I don't know, Dana. For me, there's a big difference between 9 out of 10, 9.25, 9.5, and so on. Like, I would give Templar Secret 10 out of 10. Maybe 8.75. At the very... Okay, this this level could be high 8 or low 9s. That's where I would put it. I definitely wouldn't put it low 8. Okay, where, where the fuck is the, the... Okay, right, now I just gotta go back through here. Do-do-do-do-do. Okay. 
Huzzah. What was that sound? Not the explosion sound, but like the sound when she pushed the detonator in. I don't remember that from the original. Oh shit. Maybe I should have saved. Or not. Alrighty then. That is the ancient jade mask.